we're going, everybody. It's Carmel here again, obviously, to go through with some more video tips. So make sure that you're looking at um, some of the other lives I've done. Um, if you can't find them, let me know and I'll tag you in them about how to you know, put a script in, how to change images on your video. We've also um, talked about adding music, how to, um, what else did we do? Goodness me. Uh, we talked about adding music and then there was some other editing, adding videos, times like that. There's lots of tips there. This is number eight. We talked about a script, to script or not to script. And then I introduced you to um, a script process called the blot, the bottom line on top. So they're all the things that, you know, when I have more time with you, for example, um, we're doing a, a two day workshop on the weekend that we go into in much more detail and tell you how to do it. So I'm sharing these tips with you now so that you can see the kind of tips that once you have more time and you actually put your focus on it, what you can do. So one of the things somebody um, was asking, so some people know about their colors, their branding colors. They may have specific colors they use a lot or they just want to change a color on a screen for that particular um, screen or whatever it is. So I'm going to show you three different things today. So number one is how to change the color in, um, uh, yeah, in a video, how to change some of the colors on it. So you know where the writing is, you might want to change the color to match yours. Then I'm going to actually take it back a bit and go and show you how to set up your brand color. So you don't have to keep changing it all the time. So you can set up those colors so they're easily accessible and more automatic. And in there, I'm going to show you also in this particular app that I've been showing you is how to add in your logo. And um, if we have time, I might even put in there how to show you to link it to your social media account so you can actually shoot, make an awesome video and shoot it straight to that social media account. So let's make sure that we just get started. So bear with me for one sec till I share my screen as normal and we'll get to it. So there we go. So this is in video. This has been the app that I've been talking to you guys about. So this is the project that we've been working on. I haven't done any more work on it, guys. I've literally been training you guys and doing the work as we go on it. Um, so it's not pretty, it's not finished, it's not anything like that. It's literally just a workable document to show you guys some of the things you can change and everything. So this was the script we put in, in the very first place, but I haven't, as I said, gone through and changed it. So if we want to change the color, so let's go in this one here. So see here on the screen where why do videos work better in business? So we can change the coloring in that. So we can change the text. Um, I'll just make sure that my little thing was there. So you click on where it is that you want to change. So it may be down here, maybe this little question mark. You just go over here. You have to make sure you're on edit, which is up here. I'm hoping that you can see that screen. Um, so you have to make sure it's on edit up here. Otherwise it's layers. So the layers are all the different layers of it. We're not going into that. So we're just going into edit and you want to go to colors. So you can actually decide here how opaque it can be or not. So you can make it fade away a little bit. You can see how it's fading or you can leave it back up to full. And colors, you just go into your colors here. Now you'll see down here, there is all the various colors. These are some preset colors or you can put in what's called a hex code. So I have a hex code for my brand colors. So you can actually type it in there and it will change the color. So let's see if we just do something, I don't know, pink or red or something. Let's do a pink. So see the question mark changes to pink and that's it, you've already changed your color. So you can tell it what color, if we wanted the black, so the black part in it, what do we want that to be? Maybe we want that to be blue. So we'll go up and we'll change it to blue. So you can see here how it's changed and that's it. And you just save it and it has changed there to the blue and the pink. So it's as easy as that to change it. But let's get back to how we can change the brand colors so that you don't have to keep doing it every time. So you go back to your main um, homepage, dashboard, whatever you want to call it. And you see here, it has brand presets. 
you can go in here. This is what I love, 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 love. So you can upload your logo and make sure it is um, in a square format and keep, in my, keep it into PNG or JPEG, etc. So you can upload that. And here is where you can put the colors you want. So black is just the text color, so that's normal. But these three colors are my branding color. So it is like a gold color, but it is a specific color. So this is the hex code I was telling you about. So we've just put that in there. So, and it's really easy to just um, pop that in there. So when I make videos, quite often it will come up and it will have mixed those colors into the presentation already for me. So um, as I say, you put your logo here so you don't have to keep coming back and doing it all the time. You will have the option to put them into your screens all the time. Now, the last part I told you that I would tell you is social accounts. So in here, you can actually connect your Facebook, Twitter, YouTube account. So when you're making your videos, as I said, you can decide and click at the click of a button. You can say, yeah, that one's ready. I want to send that straight to Facebook and it will give you the options to do that. So I hope that makes sense, guys, and I hope that helps you. So we've done about changing color. We've also done about how to reset your brand colors. And we have also told you the social media and logo. So this is the video you would have seen. I did it in the same format. And I'm just going to open it up a bit. Now, these have already been rendered and ready to download. As you can see, they're a little bit different than the ones that haven't been quite finished. Um, so if I want to go in and edit it, and I'm not going to actually edit it, I'm just going to show you with the use of colors what I did in this video. Just be a sec, my little fish. So see here, this is where I used the color. So the pink that is in one of my brand presets is already here. So you can start to see it coming through and that pink color right throughout the whole thing. So see on the end of every um, corner where the writing is, so it's on everything. They're all matched up, they all look the same. So it looks uniform and it starts to really bring your visually you and who you are as popping out a little bit. I'm sure you'll see by me, I have my pink glasses on today because pink is one of my brand colors. So um, I hope that's helped, guys. I just wanted to share those three things with you. I will be back tomorrow to share some more with you, how to um, duplicate a project, how to add team members, and deleting scene, and a few other things like that. So if you want more tips, or if you have any specific questions, make sure that you comment below. And remember, this weekend, if you're really serious about making your videos and you actually want a little bit more time so we can go through it all and really show you how to do that, make sure you private message me and um, come to the two day. This weekend is pretty, um, stacking up to be pretty awesome. So for now, guys, it's bye from me.